Hi guys, this is Cosmo, and welcome back to SnowRunner. Now, uh, in between episodes, uh, I did deliver those uh, service spare parts to um, the bridge. And I delivered that uh, plank, those planks, to the other bridge. We still have to deliver some uh, service parts to the second bridge here in um, White Valley. We are doing the long bridge uh, task. And we're trying to get the service station. But we just ran into this very, very terrible mud here. Which is making our lives uh, difficult, but not impossible. We uh, will be also doing uh, that Scout 800 uh, rescue. But you know what, at this point I'm kind of wondering whether I should just uh, go straight through here. And yeah, we have deep uh, river diving, deep river diving, where we have to recover this, uh, this scout. Shouldn't be that big of a deal, uh, but that's why I'm doing the bridge, just so we don't have to drag him through this uh, area here. Also get him all the way around because there's some terrible snow. I should know, I just went through there with, um, with uh, the trailer. So let's see if we can uh, shortcut our way up there. But I'm kind of seeing a guard rail and that will mess our plans up quite a fair bit. But this mod apparently is going on for a while. Hmm. Let's just take it easy and see what's what. is a guardrail apparently. So in that case, let's just uh, not do that. Let's be careful, tipping over is still always an option. Yeah, but no, there's guardrails all around. I'm not exactly sure where they stop, but it will be terrible just to wade through the snow with the trailer going by the guardrail until it ends, so we can cross it. So let's just uh, carry on this road. Apparently the mud stopped a bit back there. And let's have a look at the map here. Uh, so the way for us to get the service hub is through this, wow, quite a bit of a runabout. Just to get back to service hub. Uh, Fuel-wise, we should be good. We still have a scout uh, trailer back there, so we're not in a bad shape. We run out of fuel, um, delivering the thing back. And actually, we should refuel if you want to do the scout thing recovery. Is that the watchtower? Are we close to a watchtower? Because if we are, yeah, that is a watchtower. And that's actually the destination for uh, the Scout 800. Huh. Okay, let's uh, detach this truck, this uh, trailer. Let's head for the watchtower and activate it. I don't think there's much that it can show us around here, but maybe there's an upgrade that's hidden somewhere in the trees or somewhere. That has been known to happen. And let's see if that unlock anything for us. Nope, no upgrades, no trucks. Now that we have any other trucks to unlock in this area, aside from the dairy, dairy horn, dairy longhorn, that's still left to do. But uh, we could have uh, technically started it, uh, recovered the uh, dairy longhorn with uh, this truck. I think we have the heavy winch on it. I'm not really sure, and it is well suited for that task. However, 
I um, kind of want to leave that job for the Caterpillar 745C. We got the upgraded engine for it, and that is, by all that I'm reading online, a very good recovery vehicle. Just because of the weight, the powerful heavy winch that it has. As well as the huge tires and the flexibility to uh, that uh, flexible neck. Although personally, I think it still handles really, really weirdly, but your mileage may vary. But we'll give it a fair shake. Might as well get some uh, use out of it. Either way, for the moment, let's continue on and get that. Get those uh, service parts and fix that bridge. This is such a terrible, terrible route. There's more mud ahead. Honestly, if I knew, I just would have went up through here or through here or something. Just made a better choice than going all around in this uh, very bad and mucky area. Let's try and stick into the sand, maybe. You know what? No, no. <laughs> I was gonna suggest just going through uh, through this uh, forest here, but I kind of forgot to have a trailer attached and we all know how bad it is to have that trailer getting stuck in trees and stuff like that. It just makes your life living hell. This is probably the worst I've seen of Alaska, in terms of terrain. Eesh. Uh, there was something written on no signs, but I guess we will just have to eyeball it. Thankfully, we're leaving it and heading out to the, well, highway, I guess you could call it, but it's just uh, a very iced over double stack route. Yep, this is some terrible train. And we weren't even hauling cargo. Taking a left here, yes, we are taking a left here, and I have no idea what that is. Mm. Okay, let's check. The service hub will probably not have a fueling tank for us, so I'm kind of worried, getting worried about uh, our fuel. Let's just see what this is. Maybe there's any there's some refueling options here. Mm, not that I can see. This is a parking, right? We didn't uh, unlock the parking in um, the garage in uh, uh, in the White Valley. Right, 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 right. So knowing we actually have a, a base station here now is amazing. Let's turn that around, doing the most horrible thing we can do. Uh, let's attach it. Uh, let's move to the garage and you know what at this point given that we do have access here uh, it's a good thing I put all of these in the in the retainer let's take out the ank and where did 
we leave that? Oh, uh, so we leave via this side. Right, right, right. So we have to go there. Okay. But yeah, knowing we have a full garage point here is uh, fantastic. It's a lot better balanced. Uh, and we, I think by this point, minus whatever tasks we have to do and yet to do in Northport, uh, we should probably just base out of here for Alaska in the future. Let's uh, mark our path down. Super. Actually, we don't even really need the trailer. Uh, we can totally uh, drop the trailer. Uh, let's just park it and sell it. Uh, because we already have the space on the flatbed. And we'll need to take two service parts, which are one each. So yeah, let's just uh, sell this off. Trailer store, cyber trailer, goodbye. Money hasn't actually been a problem for me in a long time, and that's even ignoring selling off the DLC trucks. I haven't so sold off the Khan Marshall until late. Actually, I, I found it. Uh, I know I told, told you guys that uh, I lost it, but I did find it. Uh, it was uh, in some different garage. Weird, doesn't really matter. The only thing I did sell was the Navistar, but uh, I don't think uh, we directly used that cash. I sold it more as a um, as, um, clear, clearing a solution, just uh, empty out space. Uh, we still haven't touched it, uh, but given the whole option of trucks that we have right now, we're swimming in options. I uh, don't want to really add just another one. Uh, service parts, two, thank you very much. And deliver these and get that bridge sorted. MK, MK38 right now, uh, doesn't have chains, it's with uh, the single stack off-road tires, which are the best off-road tires for it, off-road, mud, whatever tires, because again, if I'm gonna be hauling stuff on the road, probably not gonna be this truck. Uh, so, long bridge, let's deliver those, and let's get that bridge solved. Much better, don't have to worry about it rattling and creaking under your wheels anymore. Well done. That was 120 XP and 1500 credits. Still far off from us reaching level 5, 15, sorry, but at this point, levels are a bit of a mood point. So, uh, we have to deliver one this scout to uh, this watchtower. Hmm. Let's, let's head out and try and do that, might as well if we're here, uh, and let's see if we can actually cross through here, that would save me some time not bothering with uh, this forested area. We are in the Ankh. Hmm, does the Ankh? Yeah, the Ankh does have a ridiculously, it's over the truck, the, the smokestack, the exhaust, so we shouldn't have any issues crossing that. However, for my sake, let's um, switch over to daytime. Oh, that's bright. <laughs> Should have put one of those uh, epilepsy warnings at the beginning of this episode. Let's do this slowly and carefully. That's how we want to do it. Let's cross through here, and yeah, that's totally affordable.
utter monster. An utter, utter monster. Mm. Hmm. We've, this route has been really bad for us, and the thing is, we haven't been able to cross this. Hmm. Let's just grab it and we'll decide after. Woo, 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 woo. <laughs> uh, right, uh, apparently mm, truck too strong and just reversing with enough uh, juice uh, tips it over. Cool, that's uh, well and truly noted. So give me a second guys and let me bring in a secondary truck to uh, get this upright. <laughs> Actually decided this would be a great time to take out the low star. We haven't been using it at all live, but uh, I find it absolutely adorable. It's not really all that great. I mean, we still have to get the upgraded uh, suspension for it, and it doesn't deal too well with mud and stuff. But uh, it's such a cute little truck, especially if we're gonna gear it for um, recovery. So, uh, for us to get there, we'll just uh, use the main road, that's uh, the most honest option. And uh, we'll just see here how we can uh, cross down there best. Uh, this is powered with, uh, where well, it actually spared with a high powered winch. And uh, I decided just to keep it in this configuration, but this is one of the few scout trucks that I know of that can mount the heavy loading crane, which is utterly fantastic and an idea to have this towed behind me. So in case, so I have like a mobile uh, winch, which isn't actually attached to the main truck, which is great. But we haven't reached that point where I need to be that efficient. Uh, the only reason why I'm not actually using this as a scout, even though it has like automatic uh, always on, all wheel drive and always on differential lock, is because it has kind of a tiny tires and I think get bigger tires with the uh, upgraded suspension, with the race suspension. But to be fair, I just hasn't, haven't been too impressed with it <laughs> in terms of off-road capability. That's why it's somewhat more of a novelty right now for me than uh, an actual vehicle I use. I mean, if you want, let me show you guys. Let me just uh, let's just try going through the same spot where we went with the tank, and we're stuck. <laughs> I mean, this is it. Kind of don't want to have these problems with the scout truck, right? This is barely inching itself through, and I hope you haven't made a mistake. But it's also this wide. And yeah, if we tip this over, it's tipped over because it does have the heavy winch, not the autonomous winch. But yeah, even going through this mud, it's, it doesn't really do much. It's not that great. And I think these are the off-road tires. Not the chains, sure, but uh, the off-road uh, max tires. So yeah, that is a problem if you're going to be using this truck in any serious capacity. It's just not reliable to eventually get to the point where you actually tipped over your first truck. Again, maybe with the race suspension we would have more ground clearance and it would handle that snow better. But I'm not certain. Also right now we are stuck in that little rock. I'm not sure. Oh, I'm not sure if we can afford this. Uh, I think we can. Easy there. Easy there, Bronco. Uh, yeah. Some of the issues I mentioned. You can't really have a recovery truck if it can't get to the recovery spot. That That's... That's a good motto, isn't it? 
And if we have this stuck, that would be just funny. I have no idea what it's stuck on. Probably some of these rocks here. Which, again, somehow seems to have zero traction. My problem with uh, this truck in a nutshell. And I think I'm stuck. I think I just may be stuck. Maybe the raised suspension would help it more, but... Are we stuck? Are we stuck? That's my... That's the question of the day. Are we entirely horribly stuck in here? Okay, the main reason why we don't use this just yet. So, take two. Let me bring out another truck out here that can actually help us do what we want to do. Hmm. Okay, let's just grab ourselves a proper truck, shall we? Uh, what do we still have available here? Because everything else may be in the other garage, like the CT. Uh, okay, let's just grab whatever doesn't really matter. Uh, <laughs> Fleet Star? <laughs> yeah, wouldn't that be funny? Sure, whatever. Fleet Star it is. The Fleet Star lives again. But, yeah, I'm kind of glad. I mean, why I'm not even uh, mad about uh, flipping over those trucks or getting stuck is purely because uh, we have this garage here so close by. It just uh, you know, makes it a non-issue. If uh, we'd have flipped that uh, MK over there and we'd have to actually come all the way back from Northport, yeah, I would have totally and entirely and fully had a problem with it. got an engine upgrade for this. Uh, I think we got an engine upgrade for this uh, in between, well not in between episodes per se, but we got it in one of the Alaska episodes. And I think we, I think it's mounted. So this is the strongest uh, the fleet star can ever strong. And it does haul ass. Still uh one of my favorite trucks, even after we unlocked everything else. I mean, just compared this with uh, the, the low star we've battled with earlier. This just goes. It goes where you need it to go. So, as a pure and a recovery vehicle, I trust this more than I. Well, I trust any other truck uh, rather than trusting the the Lodestar. Well, at the very right now, since it doesn't have the um, Raised suspension, which might just give it the, the flexibility it needs to get past those uh, horrible, horrible um, rocks. Room. Let's uh, get this uh, tip back on. There we go. Let's uh, stop this engine and let's uh, change truck. Actually, I think that was just a failure in piloting. I'm not sure whether there was a rock here or something, but it just caught on really poorly. Yeah, it was something. 
and that that depth map is entirely horrible. You think like that's two meters of uh, ground, but it you know a hole, but it's really really not. It's just uh, some bad uh, depth mapping on the texture or something. It really looks weird. Anyways, uh, let's do what we came here to do. Let's uh, winch this thing out here. I'm thinking maybe we should be going the long way around. But while we're here, let's refuel off of the um, off of the load star. And let's refuel the ah, this car doesn't need to be refueled. It's all good. So let's head out. I'll uh, recover those back to base after this. tall thing to the left of the truck that is the exhaust cap so as long as uh, the water level is under that it should never ever be an issue i mean sure we'll probably wreck this truck but also it's fun how uh, your driver just can drive on the water even when it's covering him and he has absolutely no problem i don't know if any of these trucks come with like a scuba tank or something just uh, put on some oxygen on and uh, just uh, keep driving but yeah this this truck just pulls it's absolutely fantastic I love it maybe a bit bouncier than I would want but well it is an off-road truck so Part of five is extremely too optimistic for the smoky mucky terrain. Let's see if we can get some uh, wheels on this uh, better snow. We don't really need to go through that uh, the middle of that mud. And I think actually we can uh, take a little bit of a left. Uh, nah, I guess we can't. Let's just uh, go around. of the hitbox of this uh, tree. Ah, there we go. That's the hitbox. Come on. There we go. Just uh, scraping that scout. You know, the guy just left the scout there in fully functioning order and I'm just going to bring it to him with like non-functioning engine suspension and uh, missing half the cab or something. And I got like, hey, I got your car back. Where's my uh, $3,500 reward? Okay, as you can just see how much, how much of a mess uh, it's making, M MK is making of the terrain. We have a straight comparison to the, um, what was it? The BM Royal, when we passed through here and it had some issues, right? But this, this just doesn't care. It doesn't care. I can thank you enough. The rivers here can be real treacherous this time of the year, but that's the first time I've gotten stuck so bad. Not a problem, bro. Let's uh, recover all of our trucks back to the garage. We don't really need to head out uh, manually. Let's uh, go for the Fleet Star. Let's get this one back. Uh, is there anything we kind of want to explore by hand? I guess we kind of. Hmm. Oh, it's a fueling station. Cool. So we might want to explore some things by hand, including this truck here, which may be like a salvage point or something. Anyways, we'll uh, probably handle those in uh, the next episode, given that we have the garage here, it's a non-issue for us. 
So, um, let's also recover this. Yeah. Uh, thank you guys for watching. Uh, I hope you guys like this uh, sort of calm content. Uh, if you're new to the channel, uh, liking, subscribing, uh, and sharing the video, commenting down below, they are all things which uh, help me and help the channel grow and just keep me on track to make more of these videos. So far, I've been making uh, one of them every day, which uh, is nice for you guys because you have constant uh, content to enjoy. And uh, nice for me because I get to play more of the game that I love. Well, love is maybe a bit of a strong word, but it's I like anyway. In uh, any case, uh, I hope you guys enjoyed this and I will see you guys in the next one.